Hello, hello, this is Rena Picasso. I am from the Trinamni tribe. Today we're going to be talking about how to save money buying native project supplies. So if you've been wanting to do a dream catcher, some beadwork, some leather work, keep watching because in today's video we're going to be going over cheap finds, organization, and building your supply. I recommend checking out Dollar Tree first for any project. They have a lot of beads, a huge craft aisle, some twine for necklace making, organization bins, little Tupperware with lids you can use for beads. So I would definitely start there first. Our next cheap find is leather. You always need leather for most projects. It's usually the backing behind earrings, medallions, powwow work, accessories, leather lace to tie mocks, to tie and secure things. So for beginners, you do not need a huge hide that is very expensive. I recommend going for leather scraps, small pieces. That is a lot cheaper. It goes a long way and always save your scraps for future small projects. Our last cheap find is on sinew, thread, beads, and glue. These supplies are used over and over again in native projects, so it's great to have them on hand. If you are looking to buy everything at one time, I would check out Amazon. They have your thread, E6000 glue, which is the best glue, sinew, beads, rhinestones. For seed beads, I like to check out shipwreck beads. The more you buy, the cheaper it is. They have different types, cut beads, delica, seed beads. Everything is on that site right there. For Hobby Lobby, they have a lot of sales, so look out for that. Right now, these necklace size making beads are on sale for $1.50, $2.99. So that is when the time is when I would go to purchase these and stock up. Our next tip is organization. If you are a beginner, I would suggest purchasing something like this. I got this at Dollar General in the clearance section. It's really easy to use. It takes a very little space and it holds all your supplies. It is very important to stay organized when building your supply. My closet was actually due for some reorganizing, so this video came at the perfect time. I use clear plastic storage bins, anything I can to make it easier to locate. I live in a small apartment and I also do other hobbies that I have craft supplies for, so I need to make most of my space. And this organization system has worked the best for me. I've been practicing and teaching native art for about 15 years. Hopefully these tips can help you with ideas, creativity, or saving money. Remember to always have fun and don't be afraid to try new things. You never know what gift you carry until you try. Thank you and good luck.